Don't sports talk worldwide with some news in the world of football. So y'all check this out. Well, a couple of days ago, I did a video about Kalo Du Kalo Bale, right? Into Milan Napoli game where you had the racist monkey chants, right? Uh, you know, and how it is, you know, people get upset when you mention things like that, not upset that these things are happening. That's what's supposed to be supposed to be upset about. Well, you know, we had a, a, a instance and a um, situation that happened in um, December, early December, uh, December the 4th or the 5th in England, you know, at a Tottenham game versus uh, Arsenal London. You know, my boy Pierre Emer, uh, Abou, Abou Bayang, right? Abu Mayang is a good player. I used to like him. He was at Dortmund, you know, trying to ha hang hang in there with the um, with Bayern. You know, had Dortmund winning a, a time or two with Bayern, um, and so you know, handled his business. I think he won the, um, the uh, scorer of the year, the striker of the year, most goals. I'm thinking. So you know, man has a lot of speed, turbo guy. But that's not all the point. I'm trying to get. I'm getting off track here. The point is, you know, um, about three games ago. He scored a goal, went and, you know, you know how they celebrate at the fans. They were away. Uh, Arsenal was in Tottenham. Somebody threw a banana in front of him. Now, in, in England or in Europe, this banana thing has happened often before, right? This is not new. So, you know, you throw a banana at a brother or a monkey chance are coming, right? So, anyway, this guy, is uh, Tottenham going to give him a lifetime ban. Good thing. Give him a lifetime ban. Because you know what time it is, right? You know, they come with the thing, you know, that most of the time they feel like when things happen to these brothers, you're not supposed to say nothing. And all they can say was, I didn't mean it that way. The thing goes away. Well, the dude's name is Avaroff Pontelli. And, um, of course, you know, he's spoken lately. And he says, well, you know, I've, I'm not I'm racist bone in my body. You know, I have friends and nephews, you know, black friends, nephews that have black partners and things like that. I didn't hear him say, you know, his daughter or sister got a black partner, but, you know, uh, everything else. So, um, you know, he's saying that he didn't mean it that way. He didn't know about the racial uh, undertones. Well, you know, the thing about that is two things. One is this. The only thing that's good about what this guy Pontelli said to me is this. He hasn't had uh, any trouble with the law ever in his life. He has no criminal record and has never had any problem with the law. And because of that reason, I would give him the benefit of the doubt. I would give him a lifetime ban, but then after about a year, I would take it, take it away, say, okay, let's try again with you. But he should get the benefit of the doubt, right? Because he was saying, you know, hey, everybody, you know, when the Bayan came in front of him, of course, everybody was swearing and and talking smack to Abu Bayan. Not a problem, right? And, you know, he threw the first thing he saw, basically, which is a banana, and he's acting like he didn't really see it. It was a pear, it was an apple, nothing would have happened, but it was a banana, you know, racial connotations. Well, you're supposed to know that. And I think you do know that. Know that. But we want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I think a lifetime ban is just good for people to see that we're going to cut down on this. We're going to be, you know, this ain't no joke, no matter what it is. But I do think when someone has never had issues before, that should mean something in society. That you, you know, you respect the law. You're not a criminal. You, you, you've been respecting the law your whole life. Now, if you're only 16 years old, then that ain't nothing. I feel like, no, I don't know how old this guy is. But if he's never had a problem before, we we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But I would like to make sure that people know something. Because of this happening all over the world, right? There's a right-wing renaissance going on right now in the world. And the, and the football's been going on in England. We don't have to worry about that. In Germany and Croatia and stuff like that, high Hitler stuff, Russia, high Hitler, you know, going on on um, on the pitch, right? We got the monkey chance in Italy and Spain and all that. So it's pretty well, you know where we can go for your brother. You're going to get something soon as they get upset because they have a problem with you because they think you're a great athlete. That's what the problem is. So, and then it's going to keep going like that. So what happens is you can't succumb to peer pressure if you're not racist and you're white because those are the ones who basically lash out. You're going to have to not succumb to peer pressure. So when you come to this uh, YouTube site here, you know what happens is you might hear me say from time to time, don't do what everyone does. Do what's right. And that's what I mean by things like that. 
You know, mom taught me early. When masses of people do things, it's probably wrong. When masses of people do things, it's probably wrong. Check yourself. The best example was the deluge with Noah. Right? All the people on the planet, only eight of them were saved. Right? When everybody's doing something, it's probably going to be wrong. And you have to keep that mindset. Just because everybody else is doing these right-wing things right now, a lot of other people who wouldn't go that far are feeling more comfortable in doing so. All over the world. America especially, too. Right? We know about that, what's going on with our president and everything else. Don't let me get started there. But now it's so obvious that people are calling police when a brother sits on the curb. Brother in the hotel the other day called his mom in a hotel lobby. He gets harassed. They kick him out of the hotel, and he's living in that hotel. And they knew it. They kicked him out anyway. You know what I'm saying? So there's things going all over the world right now. You know, and brothers have to deal with it. No. I told you before, when you're playing football, you need to have some, a jersey under your jersey with something telling white people about their history. Right? So if something like that happens, those monkey chants or bananas, that you're ready to take that jersey off and with a message to them. And I said it in my last video, I put it in information box. Now, I'm hoping I don't have to do a video about this once a week, but these are the kind of things that are constantly happening to this guy. Now, even though Abu Bayang, we know that what time it was, the banana, people know what time it was. I still going to say, like most black people do, because we're not a vindictive people. We've been dealing with this so long, we know that people just ignorant. So we stand above it most of the time. So this Avarov Pontelli, we're going to give him a, a, a this ban, but we're going to lift it. I'm pretty sure they, they lift it, and they should. Uh, you know, he's on probation. Right? You know, because things can't happen. But if you never had a run-in with the law, ne don't have a criminal record, that probably means either you've been lucky, right? Or you respect the law. And for, for respecting the law, that means there's something good inside you. So we're going to, uh, we're going to, you know, talk more about that. Or we're going to hone in on that. And give you the benefit of the doubt because of that. Right? So we're hoping these kind of people won't let it happen again. But that is the reason why lifetime time bans are important. Right? And I'll give you an example. When I was doing my book about domestic violence, you guys know that. The book about domestic violence is also an obligation for the first time for women, first time they've been hit, they have to make a move then. The first time to make sure that it doesn't happen again. And that's the same thing here. You have to give them a lifetime ban. If you lift it later, whatever. But make sure that people understand that this is a problem that we're going to stomp out. That we despise. That way, you, you, uh, you'll solve this problem eventually. Or definitely put a dent in it. Because it's a big, big problem. Especially in European football. All over the, all over the place. So, let's hope this happens. Let's hope your boy Pontelli learns from this. And right as of right now, Tottenham's giving him a lifetime ban, and that's the way it should be. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.